Welcome back everyone, here we are. We are in Holoshire, and look at these creatures, whatever they are. I'm trying to think of the word to describe them as. Um, whoa! Whoa! Pretty heavy hit. Jesus, man. They hit hard. I really need to start making more use of me throwing knives, honestly, every time I say this. <laughs> Uh, how do I get there? Oh my goodness. Oh. Look at that thing flying up there. Shoot, that's not going to attack me, is it? Right, let's try and make more use of... Oh. Yeah, let's do it while he's up there. Let's try and hit him from here. Range shot. With me throwing knives. Oh, yes, got him. Oh, he's gone off that way. Ah, oh, what? Come on. Come back and fight me. This moth thing here. What on earth? Oh, froze there. Right, come on. Let's take this guy out. I might get in it. Oh, here he is. Oh, my God. Shoot. He's fast. They're not as damaging as a sword strike, as you can imagine. But it keeps them at bay. Right, is this thing going to attack me now? It's just a... is it a moth? Oh, it is. What the hell? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Wow. Got like some kind of, well it certainly drained on my stamina, some kind of anti-stamina portion, I don't know. Oh man. Do we have to come here? Like an absolute hellhole. There's the mountain over there that I've been to. I want to go up there, but I do not know how. Right. I think I might just be able to run around these. Hello town. That way, so stands to reason I'm going the opposite direction. Anything in here of any use to me? Uh, lock picks, very useful. Ammunition. I need a bow. Really, really do need a bow. Oh, what? He's not, is he? Oh shit, he is as well. Stay back! Might be able to just trap him. Yeah. Oh, look at his face. Oh, another lockpick as well. Giving up some good loot. Uh, can't get over there. Right. This way it is then. Oh, look. Staircase over there. That I missed completely. you got to look around everywhere. Oh, no. Do I really want... I don't think that's worth a couple of coins. <laughs> Falling to me death. There's a skull up there as well. Right, okay, I'm gonna watch this. Take this guy out from afar, right? He has no clue what's going on, by the looks of it. I'm missing half my shots. Got him. Right, and then the moth. Just run up and take it out now. Go, 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 go. Right, go. Oh. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Drains my stamina pretty quick. But I got a health portion out of that one there as well. That's not too bad. Right, okay. We're looking in okay shape. Let's... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a flower. It's okay. Let's uh, grab one of these. I wish I could hotkey this. Can I not hotkey stuff? Um couple of things over there including that lift I think that I wanted to get to earlier on that could be useful yeah maybe let's do that oh shit oh no you see me what a noise 
Oh, I've missed. Got you. Oh, I've got long arms. They hit hard. Honestly, these guys seriously they hit hard. Oh, he's got a. Oh, he's got a sword. Right. Okay. Let's. As always, ranged weapons. It's like he wasn't even interested in fighting. Just kept walking away. Ammunition. I must have so many arrows now. But not a single bow. Lift is not yet active. Well, yeah. That's fine then. Right, I've activated the lift now, which is good. I'll take it straight back up again. Just useful if I'm down here at any point. I mean, what is to stop these, like, grey, black things with the green backs? I'm just taking the lift down and invading Pwyn. That dragon, I want to know the significance of that. Seems peaceful so far. Do I need a lockpick for this? Yes, clearly. Yes! Delusion, come on. And a chest with... Remarkable treasure in it. Very good. Oh. I can come down this passageway, can I? Here we go. Oh. What the hell does... Eh? That's bizarre. What is happening? Oh, there's somebody over there. speak to this person. They've just dabbed at me as well. God's damn wizards. What? God's damn wizards wouldn't know a good spell if it... Hmm. You're trying to get into the academy too? I wouldn't bother. You could enchant a silk slug to shit gold and they'd still ignore you. They won't let you in without a recommendation. Why are you playing with all that stuff? These are demonstrations of my most sophisticated cipher spells. See this spoon? <laughs> I created a spell to make any object sweat. Incredible, no? The implications are limitless. Uh, why would you want a sweaty spoon? This is more about your lack of imagination than anything else. It's just one of my spells. See this teacup? Put it to your ear, you'll hear a man crying. That's a real man, though I have no idea where he is. And this hammer? It's the safest hammer in the world, because it can't actually hit anything. <laughs> Uh, what's this about an academy? The Erudite Academy. It's the one that floats, isn't it? Right above us, that big hunk of rock overhead. The academy flies all over the upper static union. Just so their fancy wizards can gloat at all the poor, talented saps they won't let in. How do you get in? An exceptional cipher scribe means nothing to them. Visit the academy, you need to... I need a recommendation from an accredited scholar. Seen some of the scholars exploring the islands nearby. Well, I have had a recommendation. As it happens. You look busy. I'll let you go. Uh, look at that over there. That's got to be a, a god that's been killed. Look at that. Oh. Oh, person down there being killed. Uh, do you know what? Let's range this. Oh, you're having my life. Oh, come on. <laughs> what a shocker. Oh, he ran over my knife. That was interesting. Clearly, when you're above them, you have to aim slightly higher. Got him that time. And then, and then, whoops. Perfect. Right, uh, there's something here. Oh no, there isn't. I don't think I can get there safely, no. Lift there, though, that's interesting. Um, right. I don't actually really know where I am. I'm going to head back through this passage just briefly. Oh, hang on a minute. Can I get in here? That face. 
The Erudite Academy is uh, closed to all but a chosen few. Present your recommendation or leave. Here's my recommendation. Oh, no way. You may enter. Get in there. Going up. Whoa. Going up with the wizards. Look at the view that we've got here as well of the world. How much did that mask look like? Um, AI as well, the film AI. Uh, right, I need my um, book. A scribing book, wherever that may be. Uh, that's the one. Cartography, yep. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you my map from the last episode, didn't I? Uh, here it is. So it's looking pretty decent so far. Castles over there, that's where I started, I believe. Got the big shroom there. Oh, I did show you the map because I showed you the big shroom, didn't I? Um, but we are now here. Which I didn't plan on coming, to be fair. We're above that. Oh, don't fall down there. Oh, shit, there's gaps everywhere. Oh, my God. Maybe feel proper funny that we're way a million miles away from that dragon now. Is that something over there? Is that like a big crab or something? Is it a reaper? <laughs> Looks a similar shape. Gained access to the Erudite Academy. Now what secrets are hidden in the most acclaimed institution of the Apostatic Union? Oh, I talk to this person here. Hello. A new face. Not another one of those snivelling scholars, are you? Place fills me with disgust. Lately I've caught wind of something that could finally be their undoing. This harbours a dark secret and one I intend to uncover. What's this secret you're looking for? The Academy plays with fire, it flouts union regulations at every turn, though the council in their ineptitude always turned a blind eye. But recently my equipment detected something. A Class D God. Only a faint signal, but my superiors put it down to faulty equipment. But if it is true, God worship is a serious felony. The council would have to act. They're really harbouring some sort of minor God. It would be well hidden. I could use the help of an outsider like yourself. I'll keep an eye out. You are a credit to the Union. Turn to me if you find anything of interest. I don't seem to like each other very much. I've not had much luck talking to them. They seem to hate me as much as I hate them. Ask around, you might be able to glean something I've missed. Okay. Oh. Please. Oh, why can't I take that sword? I'm trusting that there's no enemies around here. Let's try and get into here. Uh, yep. Bed. They've got paintings of them little things that I've been fighting with there. Can't get into any of this here. I love that. I don't know what that is. Oh, who's this? Natalia, chief engineer. God damn it, you broke my concentration. It'll take hours to recalibrate that. As soon as you're here, you might as well make yourself useful. I'm Natalia, Chief Engineer. How would you like to travel anywhere, instantly? Sign me up. That's the spirit. See this big chamber here? And it brought up from the islands below, it's a portal chamber. Tech from this academy, but it's pretty old. The Erudite Academy moves around a lot, and it seems one of my predecessors tried to set up a portal network on these very islands a long time ago. Looks like they never got it working, but I think I found the missing link. I've calibrated a crystal to act as a key of sorts. It should activate the portals and allow for safe travel. I need someone to test it out. I'll do it. But I want it to hear you. See this crystal key? Allow you to activate the portal chambers. Once activated, you can teleport to any of the other portals you've found. Oh, so fast travel is... Oh. I've only found one. But the academy records state there should be many more scattered around the island. Don't need to find them all. If you can link this one to a portal chamber in the Endless Realm and another in the Clockwork Kingdom, I'll reward your efforts. Okay. 
anyone suspicious. It's Don Gee downstairs. He's an old Wiccan loyalist. Ah, oh, right. How oh, he managed to escape the post-war purges, I don't know. But I bet you find him muttering to the old gods in his sleep. Okay, so fast travel of sorts. Oh. Ah, oh, look. Ah, oh, I don't have enough iron ore. Can you believe? That's a ball lick. I thought I... How much iron ore do I have? Fine ore, iron ore. Huh. Right. Anything at all up here? A couple of portions might come in useful. That one there. Oh, and a star as well. Throwing star. Excellent. And some lockpicks. That's worth the trip in itself. Right, apparently somebody downstairs is a god worshipper. Oh, look at this guy. Don Gee, here we go. Just be a moment, young'un. Now then. <laughs> From round here. Now then. I'm Don Gee, Prime Alchemist of this old academy. What can I do for you? Uh, how did you become the Prime Alchemist? Let's try and talk to him a little bit first and then... I came from Lundell, a beautiful and wild place where the wind and rain will shape a man. My father was the court alchemist for the king. He worked with the Wiccans and the local gods to ensure the prosperity of the realm. It was a noble position, and one I inherited on my two and twentieth year. When my tenure was cut short by the God War. London, Lund Lundell even, fell into civil war, and my liege was slain. The Wiccans became traitors, my gods became outcasts. I fled to this academy. My past allegiances would have seen me hung by this newfangled union. I warrant there are still some who would wish the fate upon me, even now. Uh, do you know if it actually teach me about alchemy? Got a flavour for the herbs that grow here. Brew two eyes of Pergoth for a potent her Ah! Good. Are there any rarer herbs? Depends on who's asking. That damned inquisition have banned the use of some of the most potent alchemical herbs to the chagrin of those who know better. Those who know where to look, you can find Death Vale. It's a shroom that goes from the cursed remains of a corpse. I've got one. You could be on death's door and an eye... Uh, elixir of restoration, right. Is it possible to make poison? Of course. Eye of pig with a jitter seed. Concoction, eat through skin, caught your weapons with that and enemies will be sorry. Oh, excellent. Uh, a chemical experiment fails to produce something useful, you get a type of alcoholic spirit. Mix these with herbs, you make all sorts of beverages. They'll get you right blasted as well. <laughs> Ancient alchem... Alche I can't even say the word. Alchemists. <laughs> right of refining base metals into gold. But the art has been lost forever, erased from existence itself. Such powers were deemed too dangerous and unstable. Okay. Thanks for the information. Any time. Do you have any unsavoury happenings? A blasted engineer. Oh, they're both just like each other, don't they? God. Okay then. Goodbye. Right, can I use um, his alchemy equipment? Where's... Oh, here we go. Uh, why don't I do that and then that? Oh, who knows what you could get, create. I should get health potion, yes. Clear. And then... I can't remember what else he said now. We've got Death's Veil. What if I combine two of them? Create. Mana potion, excellent. Clear. And then if I do a Jitter Seed with Eye of Pergoth, I then get Poison. Death's Veil. I can use Death's Veil, can't I, with... 
Can't do anything with no, I don't want to use my desk veil up because it's quite a rare thing in it. Right. So I've got a couple of health portions there, which is absolutely spot on. Oh. Paradoxius. Let's head up um, into this one here. Oh, some coins there, I'll have that. Nice mana coins. Oh, look at the masks. Oh, the eyes are following me. Look at that. I was halfway through saying earlier on, I think, wasn't it? There looks like the Will Smith movie. With the AI's robots in it. Coins as well. Perfect. Now he looks like the person that was locked up in that other room. On Earth. Chief Historian. You know, it's rude to stay immortal. My name is Glem, the Chief Historian of this Academy. Uh, can I ask about some history? Of course, mortal. I've read every book in this place. And let me tell you, most of them are wrong. I should know. Being older than the world, Rend. Can you tell me about these islands? The archipelago with Hallowshire at its heart is known as the Oneric Islands. To the east of Hallowshire is Cardova, more recently known as the Clockwork Kingdom. To the west is the Endless Realm, where my kind originates. But these islands have not always existed together. Islands in the Sky Realms drift with the current. If you go back a hundred years or so, neither Cardova or the Endless Realm were part of this archipelago. I can never say that word. Archip archipelago? What about Hallowshire? Independent territory in league with the Wiccan cult of the Worm, who worship the fertility god Pagath. But recently it has been absorbed into the Apostatic Union's borders, making it the southernmost territory of the Union. As you have no doubt noticed, there was a great deal of friction between the locals and the Apostatic Union soldiers. When townsfolk have relied upon a god for so long, they don't take kindly to having the god suddenly outlawed. Tell me about the distant past. Try to be brief. Civilization thrived far below on the world's surface. Feudal kingdoms flourished under the patronage of powerful gods, and the Wiccans mediated between mortals and the divine. But advances in magic and technology led to the rise of the Emberian Empire. Huge cities spread across the world, linked by unfathomable spells, and the Wiccans fled to the Sky Realms. But then, of course, we had the World Rend. 400 years ago. We cannot say exactly what the world round was, only that it destroyed the world's surface and forced humans to flee to these sky realms. Believe it or not, I was alive during the world round. I remember an intense flash of burning heat and a terrible sound like a thousand screams. Our island crashed into another during the commotion. I have known nothing like it. Well, that's all I wanted to know. You heard of anything untoward going on here? place our secrets. There's a chamber underneath this building, accessible from the garden outside, that I've seen someone entering in the dead of night. There's no doorway though. I've seen a number of suspicious candlesticks around. Mortal wizards do love to hide their dirty little secrets <laughs> with enchanted candles. Have I got enough mana? Uh, sorry, have I got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't I do... Wisdom. I don't really want to go loads into spellcraft, but it seems like you need it to get into certain areas. Whoa. Uh, that's quite a lot of pages. Up. I'll come back to that in a bit, I think. Well, there's the thing. Oh, are you joking? The hidden truth. How many pages is this as well? Nine. Whoops. The only way to do it is to tab out of it and then it brings up the menu again, which is no good. Get into there. Ammunition. Coin. The lift is already here. Oh. Doesn't look like there's very much going on here, does it? Um, 
Where's this going to take me? Oh, up. Let's get up this ramp. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. The whole thing's circling around. Who's this guy? Uh, hello? What the fuck? Yeah! What's the whole integrity? Are we out of orbit? <laughs> the whole integrity is fine. Apologies. I thought I was back in the cosmos for a moment there. <laughs> I'm Jerome Verrier, the head theorist? A theorist of this place? Pleased to meet you. So you want to go into the cosmos or what? Of course. Atheology is a study of the ether. It is a noble art, one of the oldest. We track the neuron, star, uh, track neuron stars, we behold the beauty of the infinite cosmos, and even travel there ourselves. But this newfangled union would rather throw a coin at more rudimentary magic, cipher spells that help trade, war, expansion. The youth of today have their eyes on their purses, not on the stars. Uh, what can you tell me about the cosmos? You see it, the neural network. On this planet we have hundreds of neuron stars, as you know, the one here orbits these islands every 12 hours and glows red. Others glow blue, yellow, purple, of varying sizes and orbitable trajectories all over the globe. And they're all connected by synapses. But those synapses also stretch out to the neural network, to the cosmos. And when you see it, there aren't just hundreds of neuron stars, no. They fill your vision. They never end. We have, with magical means, peered inside the fabric of our very schools. Our minds look just like the cosmos. An uncanny reflection. We have been debating what this means for hundreds of years, but truly, your guess is as good as mine. It sounds like the in a brain almost, with the neurons and the neural links and stuff. You heard of any signs of corruption? That Giovanni Bori is as corrupt as they come. He has friends in powerful places. They made him chief cartographer, but the young idiot wouldn't know a map if he was looking right at one. He'd probably wipe his ass with it. <laughs> God, they all just really do not like each other, do they? Right, I'll go down the stairs or the ramp. I wonder if I see Gianni down here that he's just referenced. Nope, dead end. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Delusion glimmer. Oh. Oh, how we are, man. I want to know where we can go, really. I don't need to go into the town itself, do I? Uh, let's get in the lift. Oh, shit. Do I have to go back up here? Yes. Right, any more buildings? One more building here. It's got a red thing inside. I don't even know what this is. Nothing much here. Right, okay, I think let's get out of here. Take a stamina portion as well. I love the way they physically uncork it as well before you do anything with it. Excellent. Right. For now, we'll go back down to surface level. Look at the views though. Oh god, I got so close to the fence there. Uh, look at the views, man. Isn't it crazy? Huge big old mountain over there. Other things floating. Dragon down there, big tower there. See the shroom that we've already been to. Amazing. Right, let's get down.
if I find two more bits of iron ore, I can uh, come back here and... That's where I want to go there, I think. Yeah, I'll get, come back here with two iron ore and I can get a steel sword. That'd be ideal. Right, out we go. Let's head... Oh, God, a bloody moth as well. I think I'll just drop down here, do I? Yeah. These, uh alien cow things. Oh, hang on a minute. Ah! Oh. I've harvested something from it. I don't know you could do that. Looks like an interesting landmark. Right, okay, let's get me cartography notebook out. Map updated, perfect. Oh shit, come on. Got to be a way up here. Yes, there we go. Some coin. Oh, barred from the other side. I don't suppose there's any other way in, is there? Jitter seed. Oh, no, there isn't, is there? Right, how strange. Right, okay, let's get out of here. Point. Um, where the hell am I going to get to this town? It's straight up here. Oh, bit of a freeze there. Over the bridge. Look at that. Is that is incredible? That it's obviously a god that's being killed. Oh, look at him. Talk to this person. Hail, peasant. May the apostatic union shine resplendent. Uh, can you give me directions around town? Low end of town is Tavern with a giant skull. That's the wobbly noggin. You can rest up there. Further into town you have the high street with a few well-stocked shops. Several alleys lead down to the docks. Or you can carry on straight to the clock tower. Just past the clock tower is the union council building. It's where the local polymath lives. You can always stop by if you're looking for work. Cool. Thank you, man. Uh, well, we need to go to the pub first, don't we? We read these posters. To be sold, Thornwood Manor. Oh wow, two hundred year old, two hundred year manor. Once stately and fine, that's fallen into disrepair. An entire island just off the south of Hallishire. Nice. Our land is beset with the most terrible famine. Can you sit idle while your crops fail and your loved ones perish? The God Worshipper, the Cultist. Our polymath humbly requests the aid of every denizen in this matter. Visit the Apostatic Union's council building in the centre of town to inquire further. Right, let's get into the pub. What a hat. Look at that hat. Uh, well, he's out cold. This looks like our man that we need. Uh, Charles Basalt, or whatever he's called, Basalt. Let's speak to Bronson. Uh, yeah. Can I ask you some questions? Uh, let's rent a room first off. Skull Suite, come on. Thank you. Up the stairs there, look for the wall of Bourne, you can't miss it. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Talk is free, friend. Any work? Vernon Berwig's looking for adventurers. Not sure what he's after, but he's the richest man in town, so I dare say it's worth a punt. Got the Winged Merchants Guild on the main road if you're interested. Can I buy a drink? Come on. Got a big shipment of fine wine from Riova. Looking for cipher wine. We've been short ever since the clockwork kingdom shut its borders. Shroom wine, herb wine, beer. What does beer actually do? Doesn't even say. Foul booze. Oh, man. Huh. Right, can I sell anything? Uh, modest treasure. Except. Remarkable. I got th beer. Three beers. Uh, right, skull sweet. Tell you what, let's. 
let's talk to this guy here. Let's save quickly. This is basalt here. There's no way it's not. The man drums his fingers on the table. His eyes dart around. Does not look at it as he speaks. Be gone. I'm waiting for someone. Uh, that person is me. I'm with the Inquisition. Hmm, so you're the agent. I expected someone a little more inquisitorial. Uh, looks can, I'm more of a prisoner than an agent. He laughs, but his eyes stares on you. Ah, you're the Confessor Division. That explains it. Those bastards. They mean to insult me by sending one of their expendable rabble. They've hunted me for years, and now they don't even deign to send an agent. At least not to my face. He hisses, teeth gritted. <laughs> Out with it, Confessor. Has she found it yet? Is it alive? Has who found it? Vela. Who else would I be speaking of? They haven't told you anything, have they? I may as well be speaking to a silk slug. Do you at least know where Vela is? She escaped on a sloop. Sounds about right. She'll have gone to the Underlands to rendezvous with any dark stars that are still loyal. Of course, the question is where? The Underlands are far larger than the Sky Realms. She could be anywhere. What are the Underlands? Surely you jest. What are the Underlands? Will he ask me about the Neuron Stars next? Uh, no, really. What are the Underlands? Yeah, lands that are under. <laughs> Jesus. The world was destroyed in the world rend over 400 years ago. Its surface was turned into inhospitable hellscape. Those lands are the Underlands. Uh, how do you know Vela's gone there? That's done for years of terrible power. Plans to use it to meddle with reality itself. So you help me find Vela? That's the deal I've stuck with your Inquisition. Hunt my former comrade and my Dark Star crewmates for the Polymass pardon. After this, I'll be a traitor to everyone. Well then, Confessor. We may as well get to know each other. What did you do before rotting in a cell? Uh, I was a noble, then a thief. Privilege can crumble into poverty without a moment's notice. Was I a noble? I didn't select that option, I don't think. Doesn't matter now, eh? You've lost it all. Hit rock bottom, that's something I can respect. As for myself, the name is Jack Basalt. I suppose you've heard of me. Captain Basalt, the shame of the Navy. Aye, the one and same. For a time, I was the most respected captain in the Union Navy. I took orders directly from Admiral Kalos, Vela's father. And for five years, I trained Vela aboard my ship. When Vela defied her father and fled to become a mercenary, I followed and gave up my rank, my station, my ship to spend my years cavorting with Wiccans and pirates. Shame of the Union Navy, they branded me. But I kept her safe. Was that not also my duty? So why are you hunting her? I love that girl like she's my own. I've seen her grow from a headstrong child into a fierce captain and there was a time we were sailing together when I thought she might be the greatest of them all. See, a fall into barbarism and villainy has been hard. I can't abide by what she's done or by what she will do. She seeks to save us, but she'll likely doom us. So I have to stop her, you see, for her own sake. How do we find her? You're asking me? As I said to your masters, I can provide naught but shreds of information. You'll have to do the rest. Three names. Together, maybe the lot of us can track her down. Tell me about these mercenaries. There's the Emberian. Call that because folks say she's the last of their kind. Of course, that's pure squid shit. If she was Emberian, she'd be 400 years old. I've heard talk she's somewhere in Hallowshire. The Endless Duchess, a powerful cipher wizard. She went back to her ancestral home in the Endless Realm. And like all those you'll find there, she's cursed to never truly die. Which means she really is hundreds of years old. Then there's Caxton Frost, a genius of the Clockwork Kingdom. That man could engineer a skyship from a sack of junk. Last I heard, he'd returned to his homeland. They'll help us? Of course not. <laughs> They'll probably try and cut your head off. Okay. You want to find Vela? You just gonna have to ask nicely. Got it. Uh, we did capture it. Yes, I heard the cannon fire from here. Tell you what, I'll head there myself. 
after this little chat. And if you find any of those dark stars, send them there and all. And that thing Vera's looking for, she mustn't use it. Nobody must ever use it, you hear me? If you have any sense, you'll make sure it stays buried down there. Right, well I think we're done here. Okay. I've got the blinding light. Fair enough. What a town. Look at that. Uh, right, I need to uh, rest up briefly. Uh, that is... Read that already. Read that. Ah, oh, look at this. This is my room. Like up somewhere like a Bond villain would live in it. It's had a skull. Oh, it's had four eyes. Right, okay. We are back. At least you can lock a door behind you. When you're uh, sleeping in a lodge or whatever, manor. What's this? Lockpick? I just read that book there. That was the story of somebody who was on a navy vessel. But all the navy vessels float. They don't go in water here. They float. Uh, don't think I want to do this to her. Shit. Try one more time. Yes. Uh, so they all float rather than sail. And her ship was knocked out by what turned out to be a god in battle. But then, at the last moment, their sister ship came flying out. Saved them. Don't want to fall down here. Got it. Cannon is blazing into this god. And then... Ooh, shit, that was close. It started to collapse and started to die. And then they put the finishing blow, which was a huge, huge lance that was fired off the ship. That landed in the skull of the god. And the skull crushed a nearby pub, apparently. So they've obviously then rebuilt the pub with the skull. That's a really good bit of lore, I think. What's this one here? Okay, so that one was just uh, from a journalist. A little bit less interesting, that one. About how they were sent over to these islands. Um, the Weekly Whale, I, th I think it was called. <laughs> is their newspaper. Uh, yeah, anything down here? Oh yes, there is. Chest, I love that. Beer. Right. That looks like a door, and I need this law skill. Oh, it's finally... Finally doing something, this mana and law. That's why I've been upgrading it, so I can finally try and get into some places, you know? This one, now. Something has changed. Here we go. Look at this. Coin. Delusion. Oh, I've got one now. Modest treasure. Perfect. Well, that's worth it, isn't it? Now, I've got another delusion. What do I want to use it on? Guile. Wisdom. I mean, might. I've not done anything with it, have I? Uh, increases maximum health. Governs the combat skills of attack and defense. I probably should... Just drop a, at least a point into that there. Attack, defense, lockpick, agility, law, spellcast, charm's quite high. Now look at all this. T's drunk zero, B is drunk zero. <laughs> Please try. Please drink responsibly and do not drive your airship while under the influence. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, okay. I'm, I wish I'd looked at these a little bit sooner. So my lockpick's only actually 20. So I probably need to really try and uh, upgrade that, which is through my guile skill. Um, let's go and just hit a quick save here. 
and then we can get on our way. And here is unfortunately where the disaster comes in. Pausing the recording of this video to set up for another one, I set some hotkeys up in OBS, which was S for start recording and E for end recording, which made perfect sense to me. What I didn't realize is that the hotkeys function regardless, even if OBS is or isn't the kind of foreground or background program. So S would start the recording and E, like I say, would end it. And E is pretty much the most required button in this game. <laughs> you use it for interacting with people, use it for interacting with doors. Every time I spoke to somebody, every time I opened a door, I ended the recording, as you're about to find out in a moment here when I try and speak to this guy. So what I've got is a summary of the quests that I've done on this recording. Start with the Imperian, who we found the Merc in her tower. You know, kind of like beat them into submission type of thing. Oh, look, oh my God, she's gonna batter me with that sword, look at that. But she would not help us unless I found a particular ruin for her, uh, which we found later in the next video. The God Hunt, we found a servant of Pergath deep underground. Oh, secret area here. Where are we going down to? Look at this. What the hell is that? Is this... What? Is it laying eggs or something? Oh man, is this the god? And we also found the ghost who knew Vela previously in the burnt down dilapidated house. Right, I'm trying to think. Have I been over there? I'm just... Everywhere I look I think, oh god, have I been there? Have I been there? Music's definitely changed. Oh, the ghost's back. Oh, this is the dilapidated house that I need to visit. This manor gleamed with opulence. Wiccan blood paid for its walls and the spoils of battle filled its rooms as it belonged to Admiral Kalos, who rose to prominence in the God War. I don't know what it did there, but... Right, there's obviously a couple of doors here. And I'm already worried... I won't have the law skill for it. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh. Vela and her father were away when this manor was ablaze, but Vela's sister, Isabeth, and their mother were burned alive. Yeah, it, I was right, it is. It's Isabeth. So, I do believe that ghost is Isabeth, and we might find that out in future videos. Who knows, I'm not there yet. But finally, we found the mines to close the video off. This is where we're going to leave it, because we've got the mines here that are full of bandits, allegedly. I think it's time we take a little bit of time in the mines and see who we can find, what we can find. There's anything there for us to learn more about, but for tonight, we'll leave it there. And guys, if you're enjoying this one, as always, drop me a like, let me know in the comments, and if you haven't already subscribed, as always, I'd be extremely grateful if you could do so. But I'll see you more I'll see you more. I'll see you in the next one for more, should I say. <laughs> see you in the next one for more Dread Delusion. Catch you then.